or even assistance. And Kara is really just trying to find any kind of loose end. Anyone other than the Shadow Thieves or this other guild, whoever they are, to deal with and hopefully trying to find Emlyn. So perhaps I could speak to him for you. If it would be of you, no use, I'm sure. I do not wish to use violence in such an endeavor. I do not appreciate its taste, and no doubt Jermian would crush me with magic. You're kind to offer your assistance, but there's no helping me, I think. Leave me to my sorrow, please. Just name what you want. Oh, he's given up. We can do it. You need something stranger. Eh? Who disturbs me? Oh, he's talking to Minsk. I am Minsk. Who are you? Minsk, eh? Well, I don't recognize your name. So long as you're not sent by that fool Da, I'll not subject I'll not object to your presence. And I, since you ask, am none other than Jermian, licensed cowed wizard for this region. So you needn't run off and attempt to report me, boy. Hmm, that's good to know. Another cowed wizard. And actually he appears to have a golem there. That's that's something. Oh. Huh. Well, what do you know about the killings here, Jermian? It's likely wolves or ogres or some other mundane nonsense. I have no interest in the matter. Why don't you ask him the yokels if you're so concerned? Well, if you're a cowed wizard, why don't you do something about the killings? I don't do anything about it because I don't want to do anything about it. I have more important things to do. And until the cowed wizards tell me otherwise, I'll not involve myself. Oh, typical apathy. So what is this thing you're making there? Ah, oh, I'm glad that you ask. This, my friend, is nothing other than a golem of stone. A fine piece of magical craftsmanship, if I do say so myself. Few other mages have made the attempt, you see. This type of golem is quite powerful and dangerous, but I am more than skilled enough to control it. Once it's complete, I'll have an excellent servant, and something to keep an eye on my daughter and that foolhardy boo of hers while I am away. Trouble is, I am missing one of the crucial ingredients, the blood of a mimic. I pay handsomely for some, in fact. Hmm, you look like the adventurous type. Care to find me some? A mimic, huh? What's a mimic, and where could I find one? A mimic is a vicious little creature, shape-changer. Likes to attract and kill adventurers by looking like a treasure chest or similar objects. They generally exist in dungeons, ruins, and some similar places. Although where you would find one around here, I have any clue. That's why I'm looking for some. Well, we're saving coin to rescue a friend. What would the reward be for this task? Hmm. I seem to recall that I've got a magical sword around here that I wouldn't have bet from that fool Targerius. I have no use for it, but it's valuable. Find me some mixed blood, and it's yours. Alright, we'll make the attempt. Fine. I wish I could point you in the right direction. But if you do find some, you know where to find me. Off you go, then, boy. Mm -hmm. Well, there is actually something we wanted to talk to you about. I want to take a look at that golem, though. Yeah. Need something stranger. Uh, yes, we'll uh, intend to find some. He doesn't even want to talk to us about uh, Dar. And he did say he didn't want to talk about it. Let's talk to Colette. Hello there. I don't know why my father won't let me go. I'll never be a sorceress like he wants me to. I would Apparently does not happy with her father. Oh, yes. Well, it's Just an interesting situation here, Dar. Eh, well, you've got nothing to do other than... Moan. So we're just gonna continue on our way. We'll go back to the inn when we eh, when we need to. Wow, adventurer! Yeah, sir. My name is Derbert. Me and my friends here want to be adventurers like you, real strong and powerful like. Yeah, I want to be a ranger and protect the village. I want to be a great warrior like me dad. I knows we can, but everyone says we're all too young and all. Well, that's what I says is that. Since, since you're an adventurer and all, I was hoping, I was hoping you might maybe, maybe buy some swords for us, some bastard swords, and some ale, Derbert. Don't forget the ale. Yeah, we want to be real men. All right, swords and some ale. Yeah. If you could give the money, sir, would you buy us some? So you can give them both. You can give them the swords. You can give them the ale, or you can tell them to forget it. <laughs> Garrett has no reason to. I mean, actually, he appears to be talking to Jahira, so she is obviously not going to deal with this nonsense. And just say, forget it, boys. We've got better things to do. Aw, oh, please, pretty please. Yeah, please, couldn't you please, sir? 
hero is probably going to be very stern about that and saying, I said no and I meant it. You're so mean. Yeah, this bites. I want to be an adventurer. Yeah, nothing good will come of that. Give a couple of the local children <laughs> swords and alcohol and see if they're <laughs> able to lop off one of their own hands or something accidentally. Wouldn't doubt it. There's another local named Jib. Suppose we could uh, we are all talk to Jib. Heroes. You and who well, and I, lovely. hamsters and rangers everywhere, rejoice! Hmm. Fine thing, us fall fleeing into the village from our farms for all the good it'll do us. Don't know how you fools can wander around in all their metal get up in this heat. Just the price of being an adventurer, my good man. Adventures, are you? Yeah, I'll give you an adventure you won't soon forget. For a few golders, mind you. No offense, but you don't look like the type who would have an adventure worth buying, friend. Heat's gone to your steel-clad brains, then. Take your madness elsewhere. Leave enough to worry about with all the murders and that kind of business. And there's a bunch of people gathered around. Ugh. These nobles actually seem pretty stupid. Nobles. Locals. Local people. Kara's not going to interrogate every single one. She's not really that interested in talking to them. He would be interested, though, in talking to Madoff and the Ogres. If you're supposedly to the north, I guess they'll start looking around this way and try to find them. Supposedly they're up here in the hills. Mm, this appears to be impassable. How tough is uh, Scales? Doesn't seem to give a, a hit point total for him. Oh well. Task at hand. Oh, well, oh, yeah, that that's interesting. Yeah, that definitely seems to be As you will. Mad Olfin crew. Hold! You use a human, but you not of human village while you come. What you was wanting. Who are you and what are you doing here? Me, Madolf. Lead fellows from great army of Sithsail in the south. No want to kill races no more. Lead fellows in desertion. We just want to be left alone. You're deserters from the Sicilian Empire. How do you expect to live up here? It's very hard. Humans hate us. We just want to be left alone. Some humans call knights who chase us. Not bad here, but Madoff thinks villagers will call night soon. Human's very mad. Why should the village allow you to remain? Not often fellows like here. Something bad killing fellows. Lose one, two maybe, at a time. Disappear, bodies too. Very bad. Madoff very worried. Madoff no want death. Madoff no want fight. Just what peace? You tell villagers, maybe. Mad Elfin fellows will protect village. Protect from orcs and mountains, yes? Humans let us stay then, and no call nights. Maybe let us come once in a moon to trade for food and goods. Mad Elf make deal with village if you tell them. Me no one trouble. Yeah, much as Carrot suspected, they, uh, these actually seem to be pretty passive fellows. I mean, even if it's a Minotaur, a Knoll, an Ogre. An ogre and a orc. They seem, seem pretty amicable. All right, I'll tell the mayor what you said, but I can't promise anything. Not off happy. Maybe fellows can live alone and eat good. Be happy here. You do good thing. Maybe humans agree. Not off. Keep deal. You tell them. All right. So the ogres and, or actually, I say the the band of. You know, I don't know what I really call the monsters. That's not very diplomatic. The band of diverse creatures in the hills apparently want to make a deal with the humans. That's something. Maybe that'll go somewhere. Oh, and there actually appears to be a, kind of a little rock stairway here. I'm going to take that up and see where that leads to.
Huh. Apparently it leads to an old cabin. Hmm. I wonder if this is Morella's cabin? I don't really know, actually. This is another path leading down. Oh no, it's just the way it looks. It's not actually a path. I suppose we could go in the cabin. But before we do that, we should probably check the periphery first. Just to Let make us sure. Speak and be done with this. Oh, running into a, someone named uh, Derek. You, you're the one of the wizard folk looking for Valigar, aren't you? Well, Carrot certainly can't deny looking like a wizard. So, uh... Yeah, there's no reason a group of adventurers would be out here. He would be able to reason that out. So we'd say, I'm looking for Valigar, yes, but I'm not interested in a fight. Well, move on then. Get out of here. Alright, he just tells us to buzz off. Come on, let's kill something now. Oh, wow. Grizzly bear kills the deer. And then just wanders off. Apparently it wasn't hungry. Just murderous. I do hope that thing is not chasing us. Doesn't seem to be. That's good. Oh, well, apparently the map seems to want to declare that this is Valigar's cabin. Folk since the Cormirians sent the price of turnips through the roof during the onion famine. No kidding there, Jan. No kidding. Oh, and there actually appears to be another stone stairway down. But anyway, we should probably head into here and see if we can find Valigar. This is probably a good time to save as well. In we go. Of course. Um, hello. Well, we should look for traps just in case Leap there's danger. All that. Something you need. I wouldn't dream of refusing. All right. Doesn't seem to be anyone in here. You point where Minsk goes. Oh, there. Evil More stands More cowed ones than servants, no doubt. By the gods, I swear you'll not live to take me to that damnable sphere. Oh. Hmm. Well, I am with the wizards, but they said nothing of a sphere. What do you speak of? A planar sphere appeared in the slums of Athkatla weeks ago. My ancestor, the necromancer Lavok, built that sphere as some sort of planar traveling device. Lavok disappeared with the sphere over five centuries ago. It has not been seen again until now. I have no desire to meet my ancestor, and even less desire to help the cowed wizards who seem certain that my body is the only key to the sphere alive or no. They tried to force my cooperation when I refused to aid them, and I had hidden myself away as a result. I thought I had been successful as well until you came. Hmm. Why would you fear this Lavak? Were you that I should believe you? I have not been truthful. You know, the wizards mentioned nothing of this, though. That you did kill two of their number, did you not? I did. Twas no murder, however. They attacked me first. I refused to cooperate with their request, and fled as soon as I was able to withdraw. Hmm, your carrot would believe that, having been attacked by the cowed wizards himself. Well, there certainly seems to be more of this in the story than I was told. Perhaps you should tell me everything. Oh yeah, and he mentions the planar sphere and Lavak, his ancestors. All right. Um. So why would you fear this Lavak? This ancestor of yours is well, certainly dead. I'm sure. It has been a long time, but for all I know, time may work differently when traveling the plains. As for his immortality, well, my ancestor has extended his life before, but that is a different story. I am the last of the Corthala line. That may mean little to you, but it means plenty to Lavak. When Lavak left Athkatla in the sphere, he was already many centuries old. Lavak extended his life by stealing the bodies of blood relations. If he yet lives, you can imagine my concern. 
This also on my blood may allow entrance to the sphere. Hmm. Well, the wizards have certainly not been entirely truthful. Surprise, surprise. How do you propose we solve this? My proposal is that we return to the city and enter the sphere. That way I will know if Lavak lives. If he does, we can exterminate his ghoulish existence once and for all. You are more than welcome to whatever lies within the sphere, such as magical treasure and anything else of Lavak's. None of it interests me in the slightest. Wow, a lot of options. Hmm. Well, he already mentioned how he could be alive. And maybe uh, time does pass differently at different planes. Cared, you know, he would suspect that Valigar is telling the truth. He does seem like a rather forthright person. Hmm. Well, what you suggest does sound interesting. But will the cowed wizards not oppose us? The wizards will not rest until they get inside that sphere, and one cannot hope to stand up to the cowed wizards for long, at least not without steady hands at one's back. Hmm. So how is it that you can actually enter the sphere? You know, I mean, it's not that we're the most skeptical person in the world, but this whole story sounds like a fantasy to us. I am the last of the Corthala line. That may mean little to you, but it means plenty to Lavak. Oh wait, he mentioned this before. Extended by extending his life. Alright. I don't care giving this a uh, bit of thought, talking uh, with some of his uh, friends. Would determine that uh, Valigar does seem trustworthy. Cow wizards were keeping a lot of information under the table, and uh, this is and that ca and that uh, planar sphere is definitely something he would like to take a, a very good look at. So he will say uh, very well. Join, and we shall see what is inside this planar sphere ourselves. Most excellent. My family swore an oath long ago to kill Lavak should he ever reappear. Perhaps I shall be able to fulfill it. My heartfelt thanks at your offer of aid. I should proudly tell you before you agree that I intend to rescue an old friend of mine, Imowen, who has been taken hostage by the Keld Wizards. It could be dangerous. There is strength in numbers with you, and if you wish to have my help in exacting a, coal, a toll against the Keld Wizards that stand in your way, you'll hear no complaint from me. Let us be moving, then. More than likely the Keld Wizards will hear of my movements, and the fact that you accompany me sooner.